Sometimes you just have to say fuck it. What did I say? Uh -oh. No, 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 water. You need the right equipment. Otherwise, you're gonna end up like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never had this in my life. <laughs> so this is a story about my journey from almost never cross-country skiing to doing the Vosaloppet. Are you gonna do Vosaloppet? Oh my yeah. God. A 90 kilometer or 56 mile ski race with only 30 days to learn how. This is stupid. <laughs> If you start now, I think it's stupid, actually. <laughs> Thank you and good luck <laughs> to you. <laughs> so I got some new gear and was all in for this journey. Look, I used to be a professional skier. I'm not like totally inept when it comes to sports. Oh, the struggle is real. Skiing is easier without a sticker on your base. Day one, 20 laps. The f did I get myself into? <sighs> Jeans aren't so bad though. That's nice. Red zone. Ah! <laughs> I would say that Americans do not know how to use cross country skis. <laughs> what are my chances? You know, I, I mean, I grew up there, so I mean, I've seen, well, I mean, we've been along the track a lot of times. And I've been thinking about doing it, but then I've been smart enough to to not do it. <laughs> oh fuck! You want to be in it? Yeah, of course I want. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. so. <laughs> so just follow the course and then go right. Thank you so much. This sport is not easy. I think I just did 5K. Day four. Day six, going slow. Without a goal like this, there's no way I'd be out here skiing. <laughs> and that's the important thing. That's the cool thing. Oh, what are we doing? Intervals, 400, 800, 1200, 1600, and then down. And the workout is called uh, the Hellbound Dogs Unleashed. <laughs> One of the things that happens when you bring your elbows out a little bit is you use the internal rotators to the shoulder, and you will also get some of the pecs working, so you get more muscle power out of it. It's becoming better and better with every lap. You definitely need tighter pants and maybe a couple of hours more on the track. You might actually be able to do this. Go, go, go. Uh -oh, baby it was. He's gonna make it. I don't know what day we're on, but we're getting better. Eight kilometers, that's it. But there was a big hill over there, man. It was really big. Well, this is probably just a random stat that I'm pulling out of my ass, but like 70% of your upper body strength is in your kind of your core and your back, right? So you're using your core to really get you forwards. You're not using your arms like this to get your head. When you're going steeper, you need to have them closer to your body to be able to kind of get that power through. Ooh. Lightning. I'm trying to run it, like light running. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so you want a straight line from your toe to your knee up to your nose. If you have your leg in front of you, you're not able to get any power. If it's behind you, then you kind of lost the power potential. And off he goes. That looks nice. Use both your arms at the same time. So apparently my double pulling with a kick is not right. But that's actually the case, I think, for any like beginner. People intuitively think that you should kick at the same time as you go with your pulse. You actually do the kick as your pulse go forward. So you go pretty much. Okay, look at that. I was definitely not doing that. Perfect sync, come on. Same time. Yeah, that's better. That's beautiful. Look at that. This is actually 
actually really frustrating. I had hoped that you would suck much more than this. <laughs> I, I still hope you'll suffer in Vasalopa, but you're frustratingly good. Still some uh, endurance training needed, I think. That uh, is very true. Nice, thank you. Beautiful morning for seven and a half K. Yeah, nice one. Good job. Oh, that was nice. You're getting really good. First day of going this way. It's a beautiful day to be skiing. Don't think the hard stuff is gonna come down for a while. <laughs> Oh, this is brutal. You can see one guy skated here, but nobody has skied here. So it's so fucking slow. Oh, and sticky. Twenty-five k, man. But it's our biggest day, so gotta mark that one up as a success. Oh, I gotta say something. Oh, it's fucking tough doing this, but you know what's awesome is when you find a goal. I really struggled with this when I stopped ski racing. Like I didn't have any kind of reason or passion, anything like that. So when I stumbled into that nice fellow that was gonna do the Vasalopet, I actually signed up for the Vasalopet. Holy. <laughs> Uh, then it's only it. I love the inspiration man. You can do it. <laughs> Anyone can do it. Yes He inspired me to do this goal and for no reason at all I mean just some random guy saying he's gonna do the Vasa It's like awesome that dude inspired me to do this I'm just stoked that I have like a little bit of extra passion now and it's just cool to have a goal that's all I can say. Eight days out, just, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. shit here. Geez, sorry, super sorry. Shit. Came out of nowhere, who are you? I'm a cross country skier. Wait, are you like that badass biathlon skier? Yeah, are you kidding? <laughs> Will you help me? Uh, with what? With skiing. I'm, I'm doing the Vasalopet soon. When is it? It's in like a little over a week. And when did you start? Three weeks ago. Oh shit, then you have no chance. <laughs> but so, can you help me? I can teach you a little bit. Okay. You can! Yeah. All right! Yes! And honestly, like following you and like hearing what it sounds like when you do it right is magical. <laughs> Super cool. We do that again. Yeah. It sounded amazing, except for the dogs. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared of the dogs. Okay, maybe we keep going. <laughs> One other cool part of this Vasalopa challenge is that I'm going out less because I'm like just exhausted. Just like that, it's the final countdown. This is our last ski, man. Crazy, crazy. Let's get that focus going. Today's Wednesday, doing something called tapering. Heard that's a thing. I think that means you just don't do shit for a few days beforehand, so I'm going with it. Anyway, thanks for coming, thanks for watching. I and mean, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I hope you do. Uh, I wanna do more fun things like this in the future. If you comment and like and tell me that, it would be super helpful. I will say it is nice to use the mothership for her intended purpose again. Exercise today was walking. Okay, so these are the things that I'm bringing. I bought this thing yesterday. It's a linel fanny pack kind of thing. And I cut out this. Now I can use it all for camera gear. Um, this is extra batteries, head mount, camera mount. This one can go on our ankles. We got some TP. <laughs> Never know when you're gonna need that. And then each of us will have a GoPro. And huge thanks to Liz Arkey, who sent us a package. Some pants. Sick. Try all these before the race on a long ski to make sure they work. The race is tomorrow, so that's not gonna happen. And then it was time to start driving north. Jimmy's bed, our bed. Finally, we're on it. Yeah, yeah. buddy. They built up like a whole village for this. Crazy. Just bought tons of last minute shit. You actually yeah. bought like underwear. My dad said don't wear briefs because then you tear up your crotch. 
Oh, like boxer briefs? <laughs> yeah, boxer, yeah. So you need something that's real and lean. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, I just want to thank you so much for coming and being the super supporter and loving girlfriend that you are. Yeah, you know, and friend. <laughs> <laughs> we hope to be here tomorrow before sunset. We are gonna give you your own GoPro. I'm advancing in the crew. It's also called Jimmy Wong. Yeah, yes. that feels awesome. 2977. <laughs> yeah, that's a number to, to follow during the race. <laughs> the lights work really well. How'd you sleep down there, bud? It was perfect. So cozy. Yes, Kling, my love. I'm gonna keep sleeping. We'll see you in the finish line. It is 4.15 a.m. We are so ready to go. The gang are on their way. Yeah, <laughs> this is happening, huh? We're doing it, buddy. Yeah, now we're on it. He has a last minute prep here. We got uh, we got two minutes to go. We're doing this thing. I can't believe it. You guys, ready? Yeah, I'm so stoked up. So that's the crew, Jimmy and Matilda, and the three of us are going from start to finish together. Woo. We're doing it! Holy! Look at all the people. Oh boy! One down. That's a tough sign to see. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost there. How are you doing? Fun. Nice. Yeah, talk. So, final stop. No, no, first stop. <laughs> oh, I God. wish. Okay, <laughs> first 10K done, Warner. That wasn't so bad, actually. The first 4K, those were bad. Yeah, yeah, uphill, that was tough. I'm not that happy about all these people. I keep questioning myself, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? First set of carnage here. <laughs> oh, boy. We have a lovely tailwind right now. Living is easy. Oh boy, a couple crashes up here. Two or three K from the next stop. <laughs> Made it to the second one. Who's ready for some blueberry soup? Blueberry soup time? Now we are at Monk's Budana. We got 65 or 66 K left. So this is the furthest I've ever been on cross country skis at once. High five for a personal record. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Talk. Got a note next time that there's no coffee here anywhere. That's a bit of a bummer. No stops have Hopefully coffee so far. Stop. Maybe next stop. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then we go there. <laughs> that was fun. What's this? Oh, this is a big hill. This is brutal. Destroyed on this top. Ugh. Jesus, Hans is right, man. 90 kilometers is it's long. Don't underestimate that distance. So I'm Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's so right. And now I understand why Jens never did this. So that's like the only thing I ever said I won't do. Whoa, the downhill. Whew, love the downhill. Aid station. Aid station number three. I hope they have coffee. That whole no coffee thing was starting to really tear me apart. It's so awkward to talk to a camera. Can't understand how Warner is doing that all the time. Anyway, I'm waiting in the mothership here at the finish line and I'm tracking them through a GPS. But they are off to a really good start, which makes me kind of nervous. So I'm not sure if they are pushing it too hard maybe. Let's hope nothing happens on the way. Is, is there coffee anywhere? No. Hey. Dude, you were in there for a long time. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I was gonna take a nap in there. How many times did you question <laughs> why am I doing this? None yet. Okay. I'm getting there, not no, yet. Nothing. That's awesome. We're doing it. High five. Awesome.
the nice part of being like 40K in is that I don't think life is gonna be right. You know, I would be really surprised if you make it within the limit where they stop you and you're like, you're not allowed to keep going to the finish. When it starts getting dark and uh, you're only halfway, I think they might pull you out <laughs> and say, hey buddy, go back on the ski do. We'll give you something warm to drink and a blanket and uh, we'll help you to Muda. <laughs> I mean, no, I need to do it in English. Okay, so it's about four hours left till they're gonna come in here. And it's really hot here. I think it's about 10 degrees, so the tracks will be really slow. In Mura, Vasa Lopez! Yeah! They are about halfway. Half f***ing way, baby. Matilda, Jimmy, here we go. Halfway there. Woo! It tests your character because this is something that you shouldn't do, you know? Yes! Woo! How are we doing? Really? Yeah. You're too tired to hear that. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> a lot of body parts are starting to be aching now. Yeah, this is starting to get chopped. Coffee? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. God, that coffee was awesome. I'm feeling so much better. So, here we go. Going downhill. Honestly, that coffee was magical. I'm like feeling Anna Sven Larsen vibes right now. You will for sure do it because you're, you're a fighter. Do we have any more big hills to worry about? One more thing. Here you are, sir. Yeah. Chocolate? Yeah! Thank you. So fucking good. Rosie and Jesse, thanks for the pro tip on this one. So, so I want to like speed up, and then you just go, and, and then it pushes your binding backwards. Further back. Faster you go. Yeah. And when you have like these poles on, it's kind of hard, hard to like to do yeah. anything. Yeah, so one big thing is don't be sticking your pole. Yeah. Don't, don't stick do the turn amic. Don't stick your pole out, someone's gonna, so gonna, gonna ski by and go, oh, <laughs> 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 That's tip of the day right there. Thanks okay. for the lessons. Yeah. I know we could dive in so we're not like the others. They do not need Definitely the best part. Oh my legs. Woo! I think we can do that. Wow. Oh, are you still having fun? I'm fucking dead right now. Muscles are starting to eat. Yeah. We need some coffee. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah, the snack. 4027, strongest woman there is. Coffee. The more you do this, the more you realize your body can just keep pushing and keep pushing. You have so many ups and downs. We have 28k to go. Where are you most sore right now? Shoulders. Uh, triceps, yeah. I think I ate too much at the aid station, Jimmy. I didn't. Oh, I feel fucking awful now. Talk! Man, I'm the weakest link now. Struggle fest. Yeah, now it's tough. Yeah. This is the hard part. Right now, it ain't fun. A growing headache, sore arms, are you talkable? Guess not. Good work, buddies. Eyes up. Yee. Feeling good? Yeah. The struggle is real. They have 20k left to go. Finish is over here. 19 left. So Jimmy, you're feeling pretty good? Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> Whew, nice one. I'm so happy I paid for this. <laughs> it's like the best day ever. Thank you so much, man. 
Mm. See you guys. Thank you so much. Cheers to all the rad people on the side. More? Sure. Yes. Thank you so much. Hey. Hey. Uh, these last two kilometers before the rest station are brutal. We got like 10, 10, 12, 11. I don't know. Something like that to go. The new goal is to be under 10 hours. Oh. At the next stop, we only have nine kilometers left. Far back as possible, right? I think all the way. You need as much glide as possible. We gotta keep going if we wanna break the 10 hours. My goal was always to do it in less than nine. So here we are hoping to be less than 10, but I didn't quite do the math right. I am completely out of gas. So close. Two, baby. So close. Super cool to have the two of you. Would not have been the same without you. No. Yeah, me too. Completely yeah. agree. Glad we can join you. Holy shit. We fucking did it. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Oh. El Sling, boom. That was amazing. Really, we got a prize? What? Good work, man. Thank you, man. Thank you for the ride. Oh, that was epic. That was so fun. Yeah, yeah look, we did it. Oi, we're Fantastic. too tired. Thank you. Jimmy, how are you two? Yeah, right? How are you, babe? Oh, I'm so dead. It's exhausting. I'm just so psyched we did it. No way. I was way off. That was awesome news. Yes. Good job. Yes. Good job. Yes. Imagine awesome. what you could do if you just did like 20 sessions instead of 10. <laughs> no. Okay, they kick it off the pizza. And honestly, the best part of this whole journey was having a beer in the shower. And oh, that dinner was amazing. Dessert was too. The bottom line is everything tastes better when you reach a goal. So choose yours wisely. Oh, and a couple other things. Johan, who was part of our crew, was way too fast for us and finished just over six hours. And Martin, the man of the inspiration, well done, man. Congrats on your just over 10. And thanks to everyone that watched this and was part of it. It was just an awesome journey. And what should we do next?